Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, when we talk about rational numbers, we see that we, we the rational numbers, they cover the integers, they cover the natural numbers, they cover whole numbers, they also cover decimals because rational numbers can be expressed in any of these forms. So sometimes that might lead you to think that it seems all numbers that exist on this earth, they are all rational numbers. But that's not the case again. Now, had that been the case, then why would we have introduced something called as rational numbers? Now, there are numbers which are not rational and they are called irrational numbers. Now, let us see how are they different from each other. So, let's again start with rational numbers. Now, what are those numbers which fall under the category of rational numbers? So, any number, so all the integers, they are the integers, they fall under rational numbers. Fractions, they are national numbers. Repeated decimals, where we have endlessly repeating digi digits, they are also rational numbers. Those decimals where we have limited non-repeating digits, so they are also rational numbers. Now, all of these numbers fall under the category of rational numbers. Now, let me take some examples for each of them so that it becomes easier for you to understand. Now, when we talk about fractions so examples would be 1 by 4 5 by 6 17 by 18 these are all fractions and these are also rational numbers because all fractions are rational numbers similarly when you talk about integers they could be minus 51 they could be plus 22 it could be 0 and all of these are again rational numbers you look at any of them in fact when you look at 0 0 is nothing by 0 by 1 which is in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 so these are all again rational numbers you talk about endless repeating digits now there are certain decimals now for example let me Take the example of 0 0.3333 where it keeps on repeating. So how do we write it? We write it somewhat like this 0 0.3 bar which means that 3 is going to be repeating continuously or endlessly. Now this can also be very well represented as 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 is basically 0 0.33333 endlessly. So, and this 1 by 3 again is a rational number. So wherever we you have these kind of endlessly repeating digits but we have to ensure that all the digits should be the same digit because in that case this kind of a decimal can be very well denoted by a rational number. Therefore this is a this, this, this again falls under the category of rational numbers. When you talk about limited non-repeating digits now, limited non-repeating digits could be something like 0 0.5, which can be represented as 1 by 2. So, that's a rational number, right? Again, when you talk about something like, say, 0 0.25, which is nothing by 1 by 4. So, these are also rational numbers. So, you see, these are the things which fall under rational numbers. Now, you might think, what else did we miss out? So, we covered almost everything. What else is missed out? Now, the moment we have covered integers, we have also covered natural numbers and whole numbers. So, so, we have covered most of them. So, what's left out? So, for that, we will have to look at the irrational numbers. So, let us look at irrational numbers. Now, what are those numbers which are not going to be rational? Now, if you have endless non-repeating digits after the decimal point. So, here we spoke about repeating digits if the digit is the same or non-repeating digits limited like one digit after the decimal two digits after the decimal five digits after the decimal so they are all rational what if you have endlessly digits but all are different digits now let me give you an example so let's consider the example of root over two so what is the value of root over two so this is a non-perfect square. Now in case it, it would have been something like uh, say root over 9. In that case it's 3. So for perfect squares again they fall under the category of rational numbers. So when it is perfect squares they are again rational numbers. Now what about root 2? 
root 2 is the value of root 2 is somewhat around 1.4142135 and so on so the digits keep on repeating i mean you have endless number of digits there are digits coming one after another and they do not repeat so they are like all different digits all random digits coming one after another so is this a rational number this is not because this number can never be represented in the form of p by q where p and q are integers with q not equal to zero like in this case in this case also you had endlessly repeating digits but the same digit was there and therefore we could represent it in the form of p by q that is 1 by 3 and therefore it was a rational number but in this case you can never represent it in the form of p by q however for calculation purposes we consider root over 2 as 1.414 but that is just an approximation that is not the actual value of root 2 so when you look at the actual value of root 2 it is not a rational number it is an irrational number because it can never be represented in the form of p by q so we can say that the non-perfect squares so it is not only about root 2, it is about all the non-perfect squares like root 2 or root 5 or root 7. So they are all non-perfect squares and they are all examples of irrational numbers. So that, that's one category where we find irrational numbers. Now again another common example of irrational number would be the famous value of pi. So what is pi? If I ask you, all of you would say pi is 3.14 because that's the value that we use for calculation purpose throughout our mathematics. But when that, that's not the accurate value of pi. So the accurate value of pi is somewhat like 3.14159265 and so on. So this is again an irrational number because you will never be able to represent it as in the form of p by q. Now, a lot of you might have a question in mind that we always represent pi as 22 by 7. We say that the value of pi is 22 by 7 which is in the form of p by q. So it should be a rational number but this 22 by 7 is just an approximation. It is a rough approximate of this value of pi but accurate value of this can never be represented in the form of p by q therefore if somebody asks you then pi is an irrational number but if somebody asks you is 22 by 7 an irrational number no 22 by 7 is a rational number because it is in the form of p by q with where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero so here we get to see that indeed there exists irrational numbers as well now when you look at this description of rational and irrational you might think that maybe most of the numbers are rational numbers and there are just a few irrational numbers which we can count in our hands but in reality that is not the case now whenever you add one rational number with one irrational number the result is always irrational similarly whenever you multiply a rational number with a the product of a rational number and an irrational number is always an irrational number. Now looking at this, this can you approximate that there are huge number of irrational numbers that exist? Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.